Hi. In this video, I'd like to show you how to use the new background image wizard in iRender Next. I'll show you how to easily position the image, set the scale of the image, and change the perspective of the background image. Our goal is to create a rendering like this, where a background image is seen through our windows, showing the existing landscaping and a fence right outside of the windows. Here's a model I created to represent the room addition. All I need to do is add the background image and render it. To load the background image, I load the background tab of our options dialog and click on browse. I'm loading a picture of the fence that I will use as my background. To see how the image will appear as seen through the windows, I use the new Preview Position button to load the background wizard. This is the new background wizard dialog. Notice how we can see our background image through our windows. I can reposition the background by simply pressing down with the left mouse button and dragging. I can resize the image by dragging the corners or edges of the image. But what I really want to do here is to change the perspective of the background so that it looks as if the fence is directly outside of the windows. To change the perspective, first I click on the perspective choice under distortion. I can then use the corner handles to change the perspective view of the image. I can also use the edge handles to position and scale the image. Since this picture was taken looking straight at the fence, I can just line up the edges of the image to the edges of the wall to achieve the perspective that I want. Once I'm satisfied with the way the image looks, I just click on the green render button to see the final result. And here's the result. Notice how the fence now appears as if it is directly outside of our windows. In this video, we covered loading a background image for your rendering and using the new background wizard to position the image, set the scale, and use perspective distortion to change the perspective view of the background image. To learn more about background images and other aspects of iRender Next, please visit the Render Plus website and check out our other videos and tutorials. Thank you.